Was Drea your first encounter? No, no. With she light wasn't. skin, she wasn't my first. No. He's a trouble starter. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's quiet. He's quiet over there. He's locked he, and loaded. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he just picks his moment. So yeah. you gotta watch him. Keep your eye on him. He's locked and loaded. <laughs> She wasn't. I never, I never experienced any light skin, dark skin stuff with Drea. That okay. was never an issue of ours. Don't, don't edit this and fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Since we we're talking about Drea, somebody mentioned that. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts about the whole Drea and Jalen Green situation? Do you I'm think not she's mad at it? Right, she's getting unnecessary flack. I think it's unnecessary. I'm not mad at it. It's two grown people. If it was my son, I probably would feel the way. But <laughs> <laughs> if it was my son, I probably would feel the way. You know, she's an older woman. He's a young man. But I'm not mad at it. You know, I like to date young guys, too. Not that young, but, you know, a little younger. You know, they got a little bit more. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they got a little bit more youth, and so I'm not mad at it. You know, not that young, and I, my son is older, so I do try to be as respectful as possible in that area dating younger men. So, mm. so if your son will bring in, like, you know, an older, I, I wouldn't be happy. But, but would you tell him? I, yes, I have a very, I'm very, she got a voice. She got a voice. <laughs> I'm very direct. <laughs> but one thing that I have told my son that I do feel he's so mature, my oldest son, he's so mature. I have told him that maybe he should try to date a few years older than him. I mm. have told him that because he just is so mature and he has such a great head on his shoulders and he's going to go so far in life and he's already ahead of his time and he has such an old soul that sometimes, you know, dating younger women is just not the thing for him because they might not be able to communicate and have the conversations that he's having because he's just so... Sometimes when I'm talking to him, I'm, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> right? this shit can't. What? A, B, and C. You know, but he is a scholar. You know, he's really intelligent. He's reading books that, you know, from... Um, authors who have passed away from the 1930s about stocks and investments and like he's really in tune with different a different world and mm. I love that for him so I have given him that suggestion but no one Drea's age no okay yes yeah. watch him watch him <laughs> watch him I will return. he's not interested I don't think maybe if it was a play date he might maybe you right. know but for someone to take to take someone serious at that age, I don't think that. So you don't would. think the Drea situation is actually going to, do you think it's going to work out for them? Do I think they're going to be together for a long time? Yeah. My honest opinion? Yeah. No. No. I don't. I don't either. I don't <laughs> think it's first of all, he's a ball player. Let's all start day. There. That's number one. <laughs> With millions. With millions, you know. Yeah. And um, am do I mad at she, her? Do you no. think she trapped him? Trap? I'm not going to say, I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her. We, I mean, she said, <laughs> let's see. She is the one who coined the phrase, you know, your wholeness can be deleted. So for someone who has a mentality like that or thinks like that, I'm not mad at her. Right. That's it. Yeah. It so, fits her. He, somebody should have grabbed him by the hand, though. Someone should, so, and no one Someone be like, come on. She put that old thing on him. <laughs> <laughs> she put that old thing on him. Absolutely. So, you know. So uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Got tricks. And now they got some beautiful babies, you know. Babies? Ba or a baby. Oh, I'm going to say, damn, we got two already. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she setting it up. Isn't T.I. son with like a really older woman, too, having a baby or something? I don't know. He's been married to that to his wife for a while. Not T.I., his son. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, like is a, she older, yeah, the baby like mom? Because I know they older, just, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought so. Like 30 oh, something. Wow. Isn't he like 19 or something? Is like she in her 30s? Too. I know he just had a baby, but I didn't know yeah, I think the she's, woman or. Is she in her 30s? Oh, wow. 30 something. Hey, you're a very mature guy. How do you manage conversations with the youth? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so funny. <laughs> 
That is so funny. Uh, you like I mean, to date young? I, I, huh? You I, like to date young? I, I, hey, listen, I've dated them as <laughs> old as... I know what you have. I've dated them as old as 65. Really? And I did. I dated... How uh, was that? Huh? How was that experience? <laughs> she Can thought I wanted her. Can down a little bit? I'm proud. Yeah, turn down the air. <laughs> okay, my bad. Uh, I told her to... Um, she thought I was dating her for her money. I was like, I'm rich. Duh. I'm like, I'm like, I was like, I'm rich. Right. So that kind of felt weird. No one's ever told me that. Right. And now I know how women can be insulted by that mm-hmm. because I was insulted. How, <laughs> how, long ago, how long ago was that? That was about maybe about seven, eight years ago. Imagine. Oh, so you were much younger then, and she was sixty-five. Imagine. She was sixty-five. You guys stayed together. She's like seventy-two today. Yeah, that bitch is old <laughs> as fuck now. But you know what? She was in shape, and and you know she used to make I think the shoes for. Uh, don't tell who it is. Oh, okay. okay. You I don't remember care? her name. I'm, okay. You know what it was? I was walking through the bank. This is how the story really go. I was walking through the bank, <laughs> and I just stop him. Her her no, stop listen, him. Listen, listen. I don't <laughs> want nobody. Look, I came over here and talked about Jim listen, Jones because it's a, that's not my a friend truth. over here. You motherfuckers <laughs> ain't my friend. <laughs> exactly. Like <laughs> you know, they gonna let her expose her. I don't want to be exposed. I'm like, go on. Yeah. <laughs> I was walking I, I, I got my card. I was walking through the bank and this lady came chasing me down. Uh-huh. It wasn't her. It was a millionaire matchmaker people cuz at the oh time I was driving a Rolls Royce. So she was just like, "Do you ever date?" Da, 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 da. I got this great woman for you. Da, oh da, da. My God. And then so then I went on a date. Did you go on the show? I didn't go on and go on the show, okay. but they have a they have an outside program where they actually hook people up together. I didn't know that part. Wow. And then, then you still have the contact? I do. Okay, share I, it. I, no, I got you. <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. And you know what's so funny? I just gave it to my friend the other day too. <laughs> Hilarious. Do they have a category for older women looking for young guys that don't want to work? <laughs> yeah, there's rich women out there. Okay. That would that would take Give him the contact. <laughs> I'm just looking for you, ladies. Oh looking my for God. you. Guys. I want to take yeah. advantage of social security money. Oh wow. Yeah, that is hilarious. Because it might not be here for that much longer. Yeah, it's pretty mm-hmm. much now, here's over. another question I have. Mm-hmm. For the house, basketball housewives, whatever basketball it's wives, basketball, Don't basketball, basketball housewives. Every time I'm like, who are they married to? I gotta dig for the player that they're married to. Who, who, what basketball player? You don't have to be married to be on this. That's show. my question. What is the name? What's the title about? Okay, that? so when Shawnee, o- now Henderson, but O'Neal originally started the show, she was. Re- divorced from Shaq, I believe. Yeah, I think okay. she was. Divorced. I think she was divorced from Shaq, and so she got some of her girlfriends together that had dated or been married to NBA players, and they started the show. So that's just how it started, that's and now it's it evolved. It's it just, just like I mean, you don't have to be married. You could be a baby mama, side chick, dated, slept with. Do you have to, <laughs> do you have to write that in when you? you know? I mean, you talk about it. Like, is when there I a side watched, chick? Square is there like squares? No, you guys you just, check off on the application. No, you talking to like the producer. You know, you like, oh yeah, like why you used to fuck around with or sneak around with, right, you right, know, whatever, right. whatever. So, and it's about what business of yours you're comfortable telling the world, you mm. know. So it's still crazy because the guy that I dated back in 2012 when I was first on the show, like it's 2024 when my name pops up, I'm married to a whole other man. Sometimes they will put his name. I'm like. I don't even know where that man is at. Like, leave that man alone, you know? When it comes to basketball, would you rather date an ugly, but he's a starter? You know, he plays real minutes. Mm-hmm. Or, like, you know, more of a cuter guy, but he's on the bench. He never gets minutes. I don't have a type as far as, like, ugly and cute. Like, I like men. But does it matter if he has playing time or not? No, I'm not. No, I'm not picky about that. I'm not like looking for a star player. I mean, I think I'm at an age now where the star players are younger than my kids, so <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. But you know, I'm no. That's not if I meet when I meet someone. I'm not like chasing a bag. You You're know, not what like I'm you only played 20 minutes today. Yeah, no, because no. okay. I'm not even like really following it like that. Honestly, like you know, I'm supporting him and I'm showing up to the games, but I'm eating nachos. While 
with jalapenos and having a beer. So. <laughs> Do you ever think the WNBA is going to develop some sort of side chick situation that's waiting outside the locker rooms? You think it I've has it? Been, yeah. I don't know. I'm out. Do you, it, is there? I think that is there like they, a community, they said it has. Of, yeah, a community sure. of people chasing WNBA yeah, stars. You know I, what I mean? I definitely feel like that they have yeah. lanes for that. There should be and a WNBA already, wives. Yeah. Well, we have a WNBA player, Giselle, and her fiance were on the last oh, okay. season with me, and I actually married them. Um, so I got my certificate. You're a day minister <laughs> yes. in the house? Yes. Okay. Yes. We have a lot of religion on the <laughs> yes. We have a lot of religion on the show. Yes. So <laughs> I am an ordained minister okay. and I did marry them on the show. It was a great experience. It was my first time. And yeah. That's dope. Yeah, it was. That's it dope. Was really Y'all having dope. fun over there. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Alejandro, when you find that lady, we'll have a whole I got cer- you. We'll have a ceremony yeah. on the show. Yeah. Brooke, I need it quick and swift. I got you. 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 I'll do what I do. How do you feel about prenuptial agreements or even NDAs now? Um, I don't care so much about an NDA, whatever. Okay. Sign, you know, whatever. Because if Have you, you made s- a guy sign an NDA? No. I've never been in a situation where I'm not even going to fuck with you if I feel like you need to sign an NDA. <laughs> like, you- that's crazy to me. Are NDAs even worth anything? I, like, I swear say like everybody has next. one, but no one gives a shit. I was going to say that next because if any situation gets to a certain level in yeah. the judicial system, yeah. then it doesn't mean shit. So who cares? And and most people who sign NDAs don't have shit. So what are you going right. to get? <laughs> like, in all honesty, what are you just going to do? Have a screaming match? And um, with prenups, you know, I feel like I'm not mad at that. You know, I feel like people should protect themselves. NDA comes out, you leaving? If an NDA comes out, I'm not doing anything that I'm embarrassed or ashamed about. So I could talk about it. <laughs> it's not nobody could come out the closet and be like, Bring she grown. Yeah, I'm a grown, she grown woman. I'm not doing. I don't have like some freaky fetish that I'm afraid to talk about. I, I'm not. Oh, what is it? Um, <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not afraid Tell the to people. talk about it. Like Tell I'm not. The people. I'm not sexually active right now, so I take care of myself and okay. I watch a little porn on the side. So, <laughs> okay. You know, I think favorite, that's about norm. What's right? your favorite kind? What's your go-to when you're My logging go-to? in? Yeah. Okay. It's oh. threesomes. It is two girls and a guy. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alejandro. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not because that's what I'm doing on a regular. It's just, a, it's like I'm kind of like a man in that sense. I like the visual part of it. Mm, yeah. So visually, that's what I want to see. Now, are you practicing no. abstinence? Are you just like, yeah, just not getting I'm just into it? Not, I just am not in a relationship with anyone or dating someone that I feel like that I'm going to let fuck on me. Like, yeah. for what? Including Jim Jones. Including Jim Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Jones. I'm sure he's a really nice guy, but it's not getting this cat. Okay. Damn. So yeah, I'm just not. Anybody um, out there you want to shout out? You looking to call? You know what I mean? Hey, what's up? You know, trying nah, to date anyone out cars. there? You trying to get out here in the streets? I don't do cat calls. Well, you know, you know I, I, just giving I feel, you a chance. You know, if you want to like call somebody out? I let men approach me. She ain't a chaser. Me. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I like she's to be a chasey. Chased. I yeah, like to okay. be chased. Do you partake in snow bunny activities? Snow bunny oh, what, is, what does that mean? What like, the hell? Yeah, they mean? white men. Oh, that's oh, all. Oh, okay. Are, are why, white why dudes you, called snow bunny? Right, snow bunny is a girl. Yeah, snow bunny is a girl. Why are you referencing that? Maybe they're bunnies too. What the fuck? Oh, they're no. male bunnies. They're like a snow uh, rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. What the fuck? Snow rabbit. So I guess he's asking, would you date white men? How about snow thumper? That's what we'll call him.